Hi, this is Mrs. Warren, and if you are watching this, then you missed Friday, September 21st. <clears throat> Excuse my voice, but here we go. If you have not turned in your Boston Massacre uh, history scene investigation, uh, whether the soldiers are guilty or innocent, please do that immediately. All right, so as we go through the notes today, Remember that you can pause at any time. Now, the videos that you see, uh, I'm not going to stop and play, so you can go to those, and you should go to those separately, and usually there's a shortened URL that you can type in. Now, we also did this with Pear Deck, so there's some things that you won't be able to react to on this particular PowerPoint, so I'll just go ahead and go through those as well. All right, so one of the first things we're going to talk about is after the Stamp Act was repealed and given up and taken away by the king, they were still going to tax the colonies. They were going to put tax on tea, glass, lead, paper, and paints. Now, including uh, the tax, they were also including a search. Uh, many of these items were being smuggled into the American colonies illegally, and the Parliament really wanted to stop this, so they issued these search warrants that soldiers could use to search your home, businesses, property with, for any reason whatsoever. They didn't need a warrant. Now today, of course, they can't do that. It's protected by the Fourth Amendment. Now we continued to use the best uh, protests we could, which was the boycotting, and once they boycotted all of the uh, these goods, it hurt a lot of business owners in Parliament. So they did eventually repeal that. But before that happened, we had a small, unfortunate incident happen in Boston. Go ahead and add that to your notes. And of course, we had, uh, we're drawing pictures to represent uh, what we wrote next to them. Now, um, this was after, of course, the Boston Massacre activity, and this is going to give you an idea of what happened in the courtroom. Now, the soldiers were found not guilty. They were found of uh, self-defense. But I would like for you to go to YouTube and search on John Adams' Boston Massacre, and it's going to give you a really good look at what the courtroom looked like when they were prosecuting these men. Now, John Adams, who later becomes our second president, defends the men because he believes in a fair trial for everyone. And the soldiers were not going to get one unless he volunteered. So please go to that YouTube uh, video and watch that. All right, so wherever you were in your notes, we're going to go ahead and add these notes. We talked about the Boston Massacre quite often in class. The Boston Massacre, five people were killed. It was an unfortunate incident that made tensions much greater than they ever were in the colonies, between the colonies and the king. Now, a famous person who was known to be the first person who died for American independence was Crispus Attucks. He was an African-American and former slave who was killed and the first to die. Please stop this video and uh, add this to your notes. Sorry, we're going to go through this extra stuff. All right. Now, after the Boston Massacre and after the boycotts, the Townshend Act repealed all of the taxes on paint and lead and paper except for the tax on tea. So, this is a message from King George III. Please enter in this shortened URL and watch this video. Please add these to your notes. And again, the Tea Act, it wasn't that the colonists couldn't afford the tea tax. In fact, this lowered the price of tea. It had to do with the principle of not being represented. In England, the only people that weren't represented and didn't get a say in taxation were people such as uh, servants, people that didn't own property, uh, very, very, very low, 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 low class citizens. And so this was an added to the insult of not having representation because that's the way they were thought of in, uh, in England.
All right. And of course, we all know about the Boston Tea Party in uh, protest to the Tea Act. The Sons of Liberty organized and uh, disguised as Indians went to dump 342 chests of tea into Boston Harbor. This was equal to about a million dollars worth of product today. Um, please go to the story behind the Boston Tea Party. This is a real good video uh, that Ted Ed put out. Now, this particular protest damaged properly property. So it wasn't quite the boycott. It got, it's gone a little bit further, and it's going to make a big impact. Here's another drawing of what the Boston Tea Party might have looked like. They dumped, uh, they didn't do any damage or hurt anybody. They just, all they did, wanted to do is uh, dump the tea. Here's a question that you might see on your next celebration of knowledge. You might want to give it a go. All right. At this point, uh, it was, um, we stopped there on Friday and we did some work on the Boston Tea Party, some primary source work. So, uh, you'll have to get that from your teacher. Uh, thank you for listening. And again, if you have to go back and look over all this material and stop and rewind and get the notes into your notebook, uh, please do so. Let me know if you have any questions. Thank you.